Hello, Augies Worldwide. I'm Dave Kassler, amateur radio call sign KE0OG, here with another episode of Ask Dave. I have two questions here that ask basically the same question, so we'll answer them both at the same time. One is from about four and a half years ago. I found a great big pile of email stuck away on an email address I don't use that often, and they've been there for a long time. So I would imagine most of the hams from that pile have already answered their own questions, but a number of those questions are still very interesting to other hams as well. Now, the ham from December 2nd, 2021 is Aaron, K6ICT, and the other one from Armando Matos is from Friday, January 24, 2025, so just a month and a half ago. Okay, now I'll read the one from Armando first. Okay. Because of HOA restrictions, my only way to install wires is the following. He's going to put in a 49 to one ballon and put in a 66 foot piece of wire with that. That will tune a little bit below the 40 meter band. So he's gonna to have to trim that back until he gets it working best down at the bottom of the 40 meter band. And it will cover almost the entire 40 meter band and on up it'll cover 40, 20, 15, and 10. If he were to able to extend that wire to 130 feet, it would also cover the 80 meter band, but only part of it and down at the bottom of the band. There are ways around that, but basically that's how it works. So that also picks up the 30 meter band, 17 and 12 meter bands. If you do that, you have fairly low SWR on that rate. He's gonna put that up. He did a drawing of it. It's going to be a sloper. 50 feet is going to be a sloper and 16 feet is gonna come down from the pulley. So let me draw the picture he drew, a tree and some sort of a attachment point in here to pulley. And then down on the side of the wall, you want it to be like seven feet high off the ground so people won't walk under it and guillotine themselves. He can run it out here 50 feet, but he's got a few feet to go, so he's just going to hang it down like that. Okay, now you want to put a bungee cord or something to, to keep it in place so it doesn't get whooped up and wrapped around the other thing when, when there's some sort of wind. Now, the other question, the question from Aaron, it says he's got the myantennas.com and fed half-wave 80 through 10. Uh, he's considering that. He was taking his general exam in a couple of weeks and is pretty confident he'll pass, okay? We assume that he's done that by now. Maybe he's an extra. Now, he would have to put it in a sloping configuration with one end down at the fence line level, which is very similar to what we've got right here. Think of that as a fence or a wall or something like that. It would, uh, the other end at the top of a 30 foot flagpole. So that would be the equivalent of putting a flagpole in here and this would be 30 feet in the air. One thing to be careful of is whether or not you need to guide the flagpole because 30 feet of a flagpole may not put as much tension on it as an antenna wire like that. But make sure that that's, you know, well positioned so it won't fall over. We don't want it to do that. So we have two different, very slightly different ways of doing these. This is antenna number one, and this is antenna number two. Okay, the question is, will they work? And the answer is yes to both. Okay, you can take even a dipole that you may have and hang a fair part down from it like that. You keep it off the ground, you know, but this will work. I've done some Ask Dave columns on that idea of having a dipole that is not straight like this, it's bent you know, like this, this is plan view looking down on it. You can do that and it will work. Putting this there will work also. So to answer the question, yes to both of you, you can make this uh, work and it will work well. Is it a compromise antenna? Well, yes and no. 
I mean, it's long enough to radiate pretty well. Slopers do work. It's a perfectly legitimate way to hang a dipole. In this case, an end-fed dipole, okay? When I first put up my, my antennas, end-fed half-wave 80 through 10, I put it up as a V. In fact, the instructions kind of suggested that. But here we are like this. This was at seven feet, and this was in a tree, and this was only 20 feet up, okay? Two sections of chain link fence top rail, one pushed into the other gives 20 feet. And this actually was hooked to the side of the house. And I was stunned by how well the antenna performed. It was not a compromise antenna at all. So if you've listened along this far and want to support this channel, please go to patreon.com slash ke0og. Or you can simply become a member of the channel right on the YouTube page by clicking the join button. Either way works. Now we try to put out videos as soon as they're created and make them available to those who financially support the channel, uh, which could be as much as a month, month and a half before they are released to the public. So if you'd like to get the early view, that's a great way to do it. So until we next meet, 73.